Hey guys, remember to use code VALDEVAL before buying anything in the item shop. It does support me as a content creator, and I greatly appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, guys, new item shop, new skin. Let's check it out. Uh, so the name of this set is the Fearsome Freaks set. Uh, this is the wrap. It's called Toothsome. It looks kind of like the gums, like the gums in your mouth, and then there's like little bits and pieces of teeth kind of scattered throughout it. It is animated if you look really closely. Uh, really creepy looking weapon wrap for sure. If, if anything, I'd say that's probably the creepiest looking wrap in the game right now. That's, I don't know, it's kind of disturbing having teeth all over your weapon uh, and then we also have a new skin this is what we're going to be testing out today it's called the big mouth skin it looks terrifying i don't think there will ever be a more terrifying skin in this entire game that actually is scary as heck one giant monstrous mouth with a giant tongue coming out and then he has these frogs with purple eyes just kind of hanging off the side they look like they're they're, they're, they're dead, but like undead or something. I don't know. They, they look like zombie frogs, kind of. Like they're just dangling there. One of them has <laughs> his tongue sticking out. That is so weird, man. I wonder what the, the purpose of the frogs is. Does he like eat them? That's so weird, dude. And then if you look in his pocket, the pocket of his hoodie, there's little green worms coming out. Dude, this is one nasty looking skin. The description reads, Seeking victory breath mints and souls yeah this guy's gonna need a lot of breath mints that's for sure so let's go ahead and cop the big mouth skin and the council of frogs for 1500 v bucks Dude, that is so cool uh i don't think oh yeah there's also a pickaxe uh they are dual pi dual wield pickaxes they're called the nashers uh the description reads careful they bite they're alive dude they're literally alive they're they're heads let's swing it Oh my god, it makes like a roaring sound, too. Oh, that is so disturbing, man. If you look at the bottom of the pickaxes, there's these little tongues hanging off, too. Dude, this is such a scary set. And then we also have one new wrap called Widow's Web. This is actually super clean. I'm probably going to be copying this later today. That's, that's nice. Red and black, got that white spider web animated graphic in the background. That is a really nice weapon, weapon wrap. Uh, we do still have the zombie soccer skins in the store, reanimated emote, kickups emote, and the air horn emote, and then they brought back the peekaboo skin and the scorpion skin. If you guys do decide to buy anything in the item shop today, be sure to use my code Val the Val. Always appreciate it, and don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And if you want to watch me play live, my Twitch channel is twitch.tv slash ValTheVal. I will be live there right after posting this video. So hopefully I'll see some of you guys over there. All right, let's go ahead and uh, hop into a game and test out the all new Big Mouth skin and Council of Frogs back bling. All right, so taking a look at it from behind, you can't really see the detail of the mouth. But uh, the back bling's really cool. They they kind of jiggle around the little frogs, the council of frogs, as you're walking. That's such a weird back bling, dude. All right, so we're gonna drop. I think we're gonna go Slurpee Swap for this game. Or actually, you know what? Let's go. Uh, let's go to the islands. I haven't been there in a while. We'll go check out the, uh, the the llama village. This is one of my favorite places to drop when I'm playing arena mode. So taking a look at the skin in game. Like I said, you can't really see the detail of the mouth, with, which isn't that great. You know, I kind of wanted to see the teeth and the tongue hanging out. Um, he just looks like this really big hooded figure, you know, from the third-person perspective. Now, I'm sure when you finally, you know, when you kill someone and they see you, you know, in the kill feed or whatever, whatever, when they see your face, like, it's it's probably going to terrify them. That, that, that's the last thing they're going to see before they're sent back to the lobby. He almost looks like a, a wizard a little bit. Like a wizard hood. Alright, I don't think we have anyone else dropping with us. I think we're going to do a couple of moats down here too. Actually, you know what? I can't actually see his tongue now. When he moves to the left and the right, you can see part of the tongue hanging out. There it is. 
Okay, see that I'm happy about. I just I want to be able to see that that tongue when it's, you know, when he's moving around. Let's try to moat. Oh my god, dude, that mouth is enormous. It like opens up even more when he's dancing. What else can we do? Just to get a better look. Hey, there we go. This emote's perfect for that. He's blowing a bubble, dude. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my god, I love this skin. I think in terms of rating, I'm gonna give this one probably a 9 out of 10. Now, if we're talking, like, for Halloween skins, this is probably the scariest of them all. Like, if you're looking for a skin that's just fitting that Halloween theme, just a horrifying skin, this is definitely the scariest skin they have ever released in all of Fortnite, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, though. Do you guys think this is the scariest skin in the game, or do you think there's another one that's even more terrifying? The back bling's just kind of goofy. I don't know. I don't, I'm not really... The, like, the frogs don't really freak me out or anything. They're just kind of there. All right, let's get these minis down. That's so weird how he pours it into his mouth, man. So much detail in the skin, though. They did a really good job in it. I'll give them that. There's the shotgun. Got some nades. Now, aiming down sights, he is kind of a clunky skin, so part of the hood does get in the way. Part of his body, too. Like, it's just a really, it's it's a really large skin, especially on the upper body. Uh, the frogs don't really get in the way. They're just kind of, <laughs> they're, just, they're just funny looking, dude. So, if, if you're trying to, like, you know, buy a skin for a competitive player, you're actually trying to sweat, this probably isn't the best skin to use, just because it, you know, limits your, your vision. But if you're just trying to, you know, get in the game and freak some people out, and have a good time, then it's definitely worth it. Another thing I didn't mention is he has these little potion things hanging on the right, right of his, right side of his leg. There's like a little purple flask and then a green flask as well. I'm assuming that's what he uses on the frogs. I don't know. Maybe he like does experiments on them or something. I have no idea, man. It's such a weird skin. Once again, aiming down sights. See how it kind of just covers part of the gun. Even the shotgun, dude. You can, you can barely see the back of the shotgun. And then another thing I don't understand is why he has another frog on his left side. Like, they should have just had the back bling. Like, just the back bling frogs, right? But now he has four. So he has the three from the back bling. And then the one that's actually just part of the skin itself. Alright, well, we got a good look at it in-game. So let's go ahead and go back to the lobby and try a couple back bling combos and, you know, just overall skin combinations with this. Alright, let's try back bling combos with the new skin first. I don't really see. I mean, I guess anything like purple would go well with it. Wild cube, back beat, anything with like a dark. That actually doesn't look too bad. Don't I have the, I have the purple wings? Yeah, that looks nice. I like that. There's not too many things that would look that great with him. I feel like, if anything, he'd probably look better without any back bling. Uh, there's not really a lot. I mean, I guess Spectral Spine's okay. Spectral Spine just goes well with almost everything, to be honest. Bronto Bag, that's just, that's way too big. Nosh. <laughs> Alright, let's try the back bling with a couple different uh, skins. It's such a weird, like, the frogs are a really weird color, so I don't really see them going that well with anything, per se. They're just kind of there for fun. Yeah, I really, I don't know what skins would look with, good with this. I mean, we could try a couple. I'm not really seeing anything, though. He might be the only one that really matches with it, is the, you know, the skin that comes with the back bling. What about Delirium? That actually doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that actually looks, I feel like that could match his theme. Because he's kind of, he's like a mage, right? I mean, he probably does experiments on animals and stuff like that, too. What else we got here? Luminos? Definitely not. Moth Mando? That's not too bad. Anything with, like, a, you know, a dark green color scheme. Doesn't look too bad. Demogorgon? <laughs> Alright, anyways, I just wanted to show you guys a couple combos. Let me know again what you guys think of this skin. Big Mouth. 
and the Council of Frogs battling in the comment section. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.